Hey everyone. Hey. It's my day off. I'm getting, um, I'm at the laundromat. I'm getting my laundry done. Um, looks like I got some uh, copyrighted, maybe possible music going on here. So I'm going to move over here. So I'm closer in the dryer. I thought I'd start this video. I'm a mess. My hair, <laughs> it's been a while since I've washed it. So I'm going to wash it today. Um, yeah. Um, I wanted to give you an update. Things that I have um, thus discovered as a YouTuber. You know, this old, you know, I thought, well, I'll try it. This old Patreon thing and, you know, putting a, get an account. And, and some of you have been so generous um, to pledge money, no matter how small it was. Too many got a hair. Sorry. I'm just, yeah, it's my day out. Forgive me. But I do want to get a video out to you. And I just want to be me and talk. So let me hold my hand out. Um, yeah. So I got, about a week ago, I was supposed to get uh, a check. Um, the pledges equaled $38. And they were going to give me 30 So basically, I mean, this is the way Patreon works. I mean, a lot of you don't know. If they take almost 25%, yeah. They take like a fourth of it, almost. Yeah. Uh, so, but they said they were withholding my payment because they, of a security reason, <clears throat> possible fraudulent activity. I'm like, what? So I mean, I said, what are you talking about? I don't see any fraudulent activity on my account. I mean, I've only gotten one payment before. One payment. I mean, um, I mean, they have my bank account. They can put it in my bank. Uh, I've only left post to my patrons. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, fraud and activity, huh? Wow. Um, so I'm thinking, actually, I'm thinking. So then they actually emailed me. Well, well, we're under, we can't let you know what the activity is. <laughs> I was like, okay. I don't want to deal with you people. I mean, I live my life so, so simple in such simplicity. I don't need people like accusing me of fraud and I know my patrons aren't being fraudulent fraudulent so it could only be what yeah so I don't live my life that way I never have and I won't so I have I let them know that either I get the payment now or I'm going to close everything I'm gonna shut it shut her down <laughs> yeah so basically what I did was I uh, contacted my patrons and uh, let them know that I want them to withdraw any any pledge and then close it, probably close their account down because if this is the way they work, mm, and as soon as they all close, withdraw, I'm going to close mine down. And it might want to consider, I mean, go ahead and pledge to whoever. I know a lot of YouTubers use Patreon. I won't use it. Are you kidding me? 20%? Yeah. Oh, they're making a mint. So here's what I'm thinking, maybe. I'm not accusing, but I'm thinking, logic, that uh, with the COVID thing, um, maybe they've lost a lot of money. And so they're going to, what they do is they end up holding your money as long as they can to get into, or whatever, you know, to use it for whatever purposes they need. Um, I don't know if that's what they're doing. I do know that I don't want to deal with Patreon, Patreon anymore. There are other companies, and, and I will think about it, but in all honesty I don't need your money I don't need anybody's money it was so sweet I thought I'd try but you know when you try something you learn and what I learn I will show you and I will hand it to you and say this is what I've learned doing this because I'm just a regular schmo um, a Joe schmo <laughs> a Lee schmo um, doing this YouTube uh, uh, thing so I don't know, you know, I'm just uh, relaying to you what I find out as I do this whole process. Um, and now I also have some information about YouTube, so I will continue this. I'm going to go check my dryers. Okay, I'm back. Let me see if I can get some good lighting in here. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, a little better. A little better. There we go. Okay. So. Ooh, afternoon coffee. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Cheers. So, I thought y'all might like the um, the Woodstock. <laughs> it was something different. 
and says, please don't talk about Jesus anymore. Well, I thought, well, okay, well, I won't for now. But then I really didn't get very many views on it, so, but I enjoyed it. So, whoops, let me put this away. Okay, I'm always doing something. I'm very, this is my first day off. It's afternoon now. I was at the laundromat, and um, still getting settled in. So, yeah, ugh. Take a deep breath. I have so much powering up to do. Even my little banks need to be powered up to. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, well. So I'm thinking about getting a solar panel on the top of my roof. That way it can be powering up um, while I'm, uh, you know, parked and when I'm driving and things like that. Because I find myself on my days off, I have to go sit outside and babysit my uh, solar panel. Yeah. So, and I probably say, well, you can just put through the window. Now, nah, I think I'm just going to drill a hole. I mean, I've taken all the seats out. It's not like it's, I'm going to resell this van. I need, I actually want a, a, a hole drilled. And uh, you can put that goop around it, that clear stuff that dries and it, so things can't get in. So, yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. Um, okay, so back to Patreon. Um, so... I had like six or seven uh, patrons. Uh, some of them were like a couple dollars a month, and some of them were ten, and um, one was twenty. So uh, yeah, uh, how sweet. Do you, do you know what that meant to me when when you did that? Um, it did. It meant, meant a lot. But I'm not going to deal with patron anymore. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go through that, and I'm not gonna be taken by other people. Yeah, you know, I don't like that. That makes me feel bad about myself to be taken by other people, and then I'm sitting there taking other people's money. You know, it's like, and they're help wanting to help me. No, uh, that's not. Um, that's not my cup of tea. That's not how I run my life. That's not how I do. I run my life, and I don't have. I don't run my life in a way that somebody would actually contact me and say, "Well, we're taking up front." <laughs> You know, pretty much stuff it. <laughs> See ya, bye. No, I, I like simplicity. I like peace. I like things to run smooth and organized up. I Screw them. Actually, I'm sorry to be so mean, but yeah, screw them. I'm not going to deal with that. So I haven't washed my hair yet. I'm, after this video, I'm going to wash my hair. I got my orange bucket out ready to go. I'm just going to do it right here in the van. I've been doing that every Thursday on my day off in the afternoon. Finally, after I, 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 so this is what I've done so far. And then we'll get to the YouTube thing. Got all my laundry done. And there's shade out there so I could pull out those bins right here. And I can hop in, take my shoes off right out there, hop in. Leave the door open, slid open, and I put all my clothes away. Put all my blankets down. Perfect. I'll take the time to reorganize everything. You know, my I might as well do it right there while I have um, the shade. And there's people around me. Um, in fact, the one guy I walked by, he was just was so nice. He was, um, he had the mask on. He was with his son. I just have to tell this story. And these masks just drive me insane. I mean, they just do. Um, well, they don't drive me insane, but, uh, they, they just, they're just, uh, they can irritate. So we all have to wear masks, you know, and there, and, and he had all these tattoos up his arm and his pants were a little saggy. And I thought, well, you know, uh, father and son, like father, like son, or like son, like father, whatever. I'm tired. Um, so he came out and he was parked next to me and he saw that I couldn't get in very well. And plus, I did want the next space so that I could pull my bins out. And he had his mask off. Wow. He had the most gorgeous smile I've ever seen on a guy, ever. It was gorgeous. And he goes, oh, don't worry. He goes, I'm going to move. And he just backed up into another part. And I said, thank you. So then I was in the van uh, working, and him and his son were walking by to go back into the, back check the dryer. And I just thought to him, I said, dude, I go, you got the most beautiful smile. And then I looked at his son, and I go, and so does your son. And I said, it's just like we miss all that with these stupid masks on all the time. We miss this. We're missing half, we're missing more than half the picture. Because we can see eyes, we can see hair, we can see 
uh, body language and um, how we carry ourselves and clothes and things like that. But we're missing this whole part, which is so beautiful. I mean, the mouth and the nose and, uh, yeah, the masks, are, they're, they're pissing me off. Yeah, so they are. But that was a nice little story. And he just gleamed, and I just said, no, really. Yeah, I go, thank you. That was very nice for you to move. And I said, I've never seen such a more beautiful smile on a guy. And uh, he beamed. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So after I got done with that, I was like, I got to go get my brakes checked. I thought it would be easy. It wasn't. I called, I'm going to say 15 to 20, but it's probably more like 10. But it seemed like 20. One right after the other. First I went to AAA to see who they recommended. Then uh, I was going, and they said, well, you can bring it in next Tuesday. I'm going, no, it makes noise now. And I said, thank you, and I went to the next one. Well, then one actually called me back. He goes, listen, he goes, if you really need it checked, he goes, you go to, I think it's called Tire Center or something. Never heard of it, but in Reno. Um, they're, they're small. Uh, yeah. So I called the first one in no go. Called another tire center, the same company. Mm. It's, it's so good. It says, yeah, bring it in around 11. I'm like, yes, yes. So, um, I thought, well, that gives me time to go to the store. I went to like what would be considered like fries or Kroger. It was Smith's and no more. I, I, Walmart has just so much more. It, they really do. I mean, I just found a little thing of paper towels for the week. They had to get these big packs. Eh. Um, they didn't, and they actually had longer lines. They were calling people. You can now come into this lane. <laughs> it's like, oh. Uh, and like every 10 minutes, please practice social distance. And now it's like this computer futuristic voice. At one point, I went down down the aisle and he did it. I saw this guy. He had his mask cap on, and I said, "Blah blah blah." He goes to tell me about it. <laughs> he walked past. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so around eleven, I went. It's a small, kind of dirty shop, you know, but it was small. Um, very nice though. I will say they weren't wearing the mask. One had it on backwards. And I said, so I'm glad you guys don't even wear the mask. He goes, well, I got a mask on. <laughs> it was on backwards. So I took mine off. It's like, I'm going to wear a mask. And if you don't, if you're against, if you're against not wearing masks, then, oh, well, I'm not, I don't like wearing a mask. It, they're, I'm pretty sure I heard a rumor. I heard a rumor somewhere that I might be wrong, but I heard that oxygen was essential to human life so you know yeah they're taking away our our oxygen and yeah yeah i have to wear it for 10 hours huffing and puffing lifting 50 pound boxes so don't even talk to me about masks <clears throat> so um they pulled in my i told them what happened with my with my brakes that I got the disc in Tucson then when I was in Reno this one guy I met he was supposedly a mechanic and everybody was traveling, and uh, so I paid him to put new cal calipers on because I was hearing a little bit of a noise. Not a lot, but a little bit. He said it was the calipers. So they got it hooked up. They jacked it up. First, they checked the engine. I'm like, why are they checking my engine? Wait, 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 wait. I, you know, like, don't be messing with my and Don't be messing with my house because this is my house, you know. So I kind of walked out there, and I, he was a young guy, and I... Um, and uh, I said, oh, it's my brakes. And he goes, oh, this is just a courtesy. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't really ask for a courtesy check, you know. Um, I know, I am suspect. I'm thinking, well, are they, like, loosening something up so that it'll fall apart and I have to come back? <laughs> and I was like, don't mess with my engine. Well, he did say that I do have a little bit of an oil leak. And he said it's the, um, it's the gasket clamps or something in the engine well anyways so i said well you're okay then they jacked it up jacked up my van and i'm out there like like let me go see you know like i'm just pacing you know like an expectant father you know? <laughs> what's going on with my van? um yeah oh they found it right away there's this piece of metal that goes around the disc it's like a protector when 
Joseph, if you're listening, Joseph, shout out to you, Joseph. There's a thing, and what he did was he put the caliper on, he bent it back, and it was scraping on my disc. In fact, the guy goes, he goes, well, now it's really going to be really hot, but put your finger back here, just touch it lightly back for it was making a groove on the inside of my disc, you know, on the in, uh, towards the inside of my car. Yeah, it was making a groove on my brake disc. Well, no wonder it was making this squelching, you know. It was rubbing. Yeah. Never again. I thought I was doing him a favor. He, I figured, well, he's going to do me a favor and I'll do him a favor. You know, I'll pay him to do it. And, uh, Nah. Well, he's gone. He's gone from Reno. <laughs> you know, shame on me. And even the guy said, he goes, he, and it was, it didn't cost me a cent. He goes, you always get a free brake inspection here. And uh, he goes, so we inspected your brakes. And then he gave me an estimate for the gaskets, uh, the oil gaskets, in my engine. And that would be about $589. So maybe before I leave Reno... Um, I will. Here's a tip. I read, I heard this tip, and the problem is I didn't follow it. I waited to the last minute in Tucson, be right before I left, like a day later. I was, leaving, I got my my van worked on, and then I left the next morning, early morning. Don't do that, because if something goes wrong, if they didn't fix it right, you're on the road and you're screwed. So I will make sure that before I leave this whole area, before I leave Nevada. I will do it before so that I can drive my minivan around for a couple weeks to make sure everything's good to go. Good to go. Yeah, that was, uh, but so the good news is my brakes were checked. The noise is gone. I feel safe again. Yay. Yay. Then, um, I just found some shady spot and I've been parked. Um, I had a really big lunch. I had a, a sandwich. And, uh, yeah, it's really hot today. It's hot here. I wish it wasn't hot, but it is. Okay, I promised to talk about YouTube. <sighs> Wide World of Trains, WWOT. Um, we both kind of visit each other's channels, and uh, I like his channel. And uh, I, I do like trains. And he always comes and visits mine. And so um, I subscribed to him. And he put out a message on um, YouTube about YouTube, on YouTube about YouTube and what they're doing. They've changed all the algorithms recently. Probably around the time that I started monetizing mine and I got uh, accepted for monetizing my videos. So um, probably around that time. And, uh, he said he's losing subscribers. Like, it's like they're taking subscribers away. And um, his money has gone down. Anything he's making has kind of dipped. He's got like 14,000 videos up thus far. And he travels to go um, get, get footage of uh, different trains. I mean, he finds out where they are. I mean, we're dealing with, like, all. there's all different types of trains. There's all different types of engines. And uh, I don't know all the ins and outs of them, but uh, I do like trains. Um, but that I don't know. But he does. And he's got quite a following. I'm going to turn that off. It's knocking my power down. Yeah, I'm cutting to lose power. Um, so, basically what... Uh, he's uh was talking about it. he just he just wants to like quit he just wants to quit he says i'm tired of playing the game i'm tired of um google winning google's getting the money i mean they are i'm sorry but they're getting the money the uh, the um the advertisers are paying google and unless you got like a hundred thousand and above you're really not going to make much and you're you're busting your butt <laughs> yeah putting out videos um, so I have made a decision and for now, for now, 
I'm going to demonetize all my videos. Um, any new ones won't be monetized. And it'll take a while. I'm going to have to um, edit all my videos anyways to take out on the intro to take out Patreon. Do not, do not send me Patreon. Um, I'm asking anybody who already did to withdraw. And then close out your account. I'm going to close my... As soon as you guys withdraw, I'm going to close out my account. You know, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to play a game. You know, I don't want to play that game. Um, I don't know why they're playing a game. Why would they play a game with me? Um, I don't... I've, I've left some posts. In fact, one of the glitches is every time somebody would leave me a post, I could never reply to it. I would have to leave another post. There was no way... I don't know if it was because I was just on my phone and my laptop is... The, you know, um, but I couldn't actually um, reply from that post. And I've told them that. I'm, so, I'm sorry. The reason I don't reply is because every time I go to reply, I hit it. And it wants to, I have two buttons. One is to tweet it. And one is to share it with um, like Instagram or something. Yeah, no, I just want to leave a reply. I want to reply to that post. But uh, there was never. So the way it's set up, I, I really wasn't that happy about it. So I've left a few posts. Um, I've only received one other check from them before, ever. So I can't imagine where the fraudulent thing comes in. Yeah, right. Um, I think they just want to, I think, I think. Because I'm not accusatory. I think they probably just want to use, use money. They're probably maybe investigating everybody. Who knows? So uh, if you do have Patreon, if, if, you're, if you're a patron to another, maybe Nomad channel or something, I'm not saying, you know, like, and your account and everything about but so yeah they're taking about almost close to 20 percent off of all of them well they are mine so i'm sure they're doing it with all of them uh that's it's a little bit too much interest for me so it's up to you guys i know that i am i have pledged um about ten dollars a month to um john ramirez really like him um he's trying to get the word out he has a really great story too if you uh he's got books out and um and especially now with covid he can't really go you know how he go to church to church and then they take offerings up for him so um but he uses tithely t-i-t-h-e-l-y the tithely um for tithing yeah um it uses him i don't know how much they're taking but um yeah i just don't like uh patreon so, yeah, so I'm going to um, do my videos for fun. For free. Yeah. I get a lot uh, uh, I get a lot of other things uh, from doing these videos. So, I'm going to do uh, what I want to do. And I'm still a nomad, so of course it's going to be nomad life. You, you see that. I mean, I'm in my van, in my minivan. And I'm also going to keep talking about Jesus, um, not every second, but yes, uh, he is in my life. So I'm a nomad, a Christian nomad. So of course that's going to be included. Um, and, and I'm going to, um, you know, dance here and there, sing, oh, um, <laughs> yeah, laugh, yeah. um, just be me and, uh, just entertain and discuss and have fun. Let's have fun. Okay, so hopefully it'll make my channel unique. Uh, you won't have to watch um, stupid ads. Yeah. But I love you guys so much. And uh, don't worry about me. Yeah, sometimes I just have to take time. Um, it is hard. I'm doing hard work. Doing hard labor here. Yeah. Doing my time. <laughs> so, uh you know, and but I am enjoying it. It's really nice people there. And I'm enjoying that. But I am, um, do I really like the work? I'm tolerating it. I mean, that's about as good as you can get with the physical labor. Excuse me, labor like that is you tolerate it. So everybody, uh, I love you. Until next time. <laughs>